Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today in the jar we have got quotes by the lovely Louise Hay. I'm rereading her book at the moment. I've read it I don't know how many times, <laughs> many times. Every now and then I pick up that book and I think for the last couple of weeks now I've been reading that each night before I sleep so definitely we've got some Louise Hay quotes there and we've also got this lovely architectural deck that I really love to use with the traditional you know like the jack you could well the jack of that's diamonds that would be like pentacles right so that's like the page or the knight combined so I do like to read the traditional deck as well and what I thought we would do is I draw a card from here and each of these cards has a location. So here we've got Spain, 2007. So the place might be significant, the year might be significant, but I'm gonna leave that to you to fill in the blank as to what this card means to you. I'll give you an example. I drew one for myself this morning and I got Japan. And I thought about the time that I went there and I was getting on this train and I have this really strong memory of you know, getting on this train and there was this lovely elderly lady and actually I wanted her to get on the train first because that's what you do, you know, I'm a young person, I want the elderly person to go on the train first, all that kind of thing. Anyway, she said to me, no, you're a guest in this country, you get on first and I'm like, no, no, you know, you should go on first and anyway. <laughs> We went back and forth quite a bit and I ended up having to just hop on the train because otherwise neither of us would have got to our destination. But I was just marveling about you know, how incredibly polite the people are there and what a good time I had. So perhaps, you know, and it, it doesn't, you know, this isn't about that you have to have been there or any of that because many of these places I've never been to, but there'll be some association you have with the place in your mind or Indeed, this might be a place that you would love to go to and, you know, things will improve here on Earth to the point where, you know, we'll be able to travel and move about again. So feel free, guys, to choose from Group 1, Group 2 or Group 3 and I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, Group 1. If you chose Group Number 1, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look. Well, let's take a look and see what location you get. By the way, I hope wherever you are, you are doing okay, that you're in a safe place and that, and that you're fine. And if you are in a part of the world that is difficult, my heart goes out to you, you're in my prayers and hopefully this distracting content is just what you need to take my, your mind off things. Uh, I know what it is to need a distraction or, you know, just to, to change gears a bit, just to get your mind to change gears, do something different. Sometimes we all need that, uh, no matter where we are. So, yeah, let's see. Now, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I'll take one of these. This is what I consider my sun deck. I think it's called the Tarot of Mystical Moments, if I've got that right. It'll be in the description, but I consider this my sun deck because it's really brightly colored. And here in Sydney, we're having a huge amount of rain. So I'm in need of some sun energy. And I'm getting it from this place, <laughs> from this card deck. All right, we'll have one of these. And then we'll have one of... This other really sweet little deck that I picked up from, and I've forgotten the name of, I've forgotten the name of all of these. I think that's Sacred Mysteries, and I don't remember what this is, but this is very good. <laughs> Everything in the description, I'll, I'll put it. I often get asked what cards. Okay, let's see what we've got. Group number one, I'm excited. Actually, look at me, I'm moving these around before I even that's interesting. I don't normally do that. Okay, let's see. Yes, I think this is more like it. Okay, good. Let's start with your location wild card. 
where are you going or what place is significant for you in this instance? All right, Spain, 2011. Okay. Oh, fantastic. You've got the Ace of Diamonds, Pentacles. That's a great card to get. Excellent, excellent. It's funny, when I was moving all of these cards to this table, of all the, I suppose there'd be hundreds of cards on this table, yeah, one flew out and it was the Ace of Pentacles. So that's really interesting. And that's very much about wealth, abundance, money, being grounded as well, a new beginning as well. We can read that in, in many ways. Let's see what else comes up. Oh, wonderful, the Six of Pentacles. How beautiful. Wow, what a great depiction. Oh, that's wonderful. Because, yes, this is a really great depiction. Oh, that's stunning. Because it is about equality. And, and it is about, you know, equal balance, give and take, justice. There's a justice element. And this has been depicted by the teapot here with the dripping of tea. Oh, how amazing. That's wonderful. It's very creative, this deck. I really love it. All right, power. Excellent. And we've got the bright red, which is, of course, the root chakra as well. The number three, it's very much about collaboration. Harmony, togetherness, creativity. Three is a great creative number. <clears throat> All right, we've got here hostility and enmity. Do not allow your ego to blind your soul. Offer benevolence to those who despise you. Yeah, this kind of theme came up, I think it was last week in one of the groups. I think that's the symbol for Mars there, and that is, aha, the symbol for, yes, that is Mercury. Right, okay. There's some kind of argument happening right here in this card. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Let's see what we've got for tarot. Nine of Pentacles, really great. Great solid card, that one. Great wealth and abundance happening here already for you guys. Four of Wands, that's beautiful. That's the dream, you know, the happiness, the joy, the creation of, and here they've got it as a tent, but it's usually, this is your dream life, this is your dream home, this is, you know, where you really want to live, that, that scene that you're working to create in your life. Okay. Oh, High Priestess. Lovely. Wonderful. Well, we've got some beautiful energies here on the table. It's a really lovely spread, incredibly lovely. So much of this spread that's just so good. But there is some tension here. And the tension here, it does look to be here with these two cards. And that is, by the way, the symbol for Pisces as well. And I think there is some kind of argument. There is some kind of, it's kind of an argument and sort of someone's trying to, and I've got the word flex come into my mind. And the reason I have the word flex come into my mind, and it's so interesting that the characters here, they are, you know, they're, they're kind of from East Asia. I have been watching a lot of videos by this guy called Stephen He, and they're like just comedy videos. They're just really silly, funny comedy videos. But he has this thing about Asian parents flexing, like flexing their muscles. So this is giving me that kind of vibe where somebody in your world or in your atmosphere is flexing, you know, they're kind of flexing their muscles or they're kind of showing, hey, I'm like really great or something. But um, yeah, I mean, I just kind of get the sense that this is not, you know, we've got the symbol for Pisces here, we've got Mercury here, and I'm kind of taking Pisces, Mercury and this high priestess over here to be you where that's not quite working for you or, uh, you know, that that's just not something in your interest right now. 
look at her. She is not. She's not into that kind of thing. <laughs> she's, she is spiritual. She's working towards creating this dream, creating you know abundance here. There's a huge amount of abundance, guys. This is epic. You can build a kingdom with this. This is a lot of wealth here. And I get the sense that you need to be focused on creating your wealth, your abundance, your, your dream life. You're moving towards this. This is what's going to need your energy. And if you burn or waste energy in this situation, very soon you're going to be out of balance. Okay, this is a card of balance. Balance is so important. Balance, harmony, togetherness, equality. Being with the right people, being with the right match. You know, these two people are, you know, and look at that. This is interesting because she is depicted higher than this one. So there is some imbalance here, perhaps. There's also this guy. Let's have a look at that. Okay. I'm getting a sense of kind of ancestors or someone behind the scenes. Someone behind the scenes. It's also interesting, there is imbalance actually in this picture because she's getting all the tea as well. But I mean, you have to pour it one time and then pour it another. So it's not like she's missing out. But the, this can, what I'm looking for and what I'm digging around for here is that this thing of imbalance or inequality or this thing of, yeah, I'm better than you uh, type energy. But I also, I also get the impression that you're not, you're not going to be too bothered by this. So interesting that we've got the symbol for Pisces here and yet we've got Mercury and Mars here. That is really interesting. That is Mars, isn't it? Yes, the arrow is absolutely tiny. Yeah. Hostility and en enmity. Do not allow your ego to blind your soul. Offer benevolence to those who despise you. And really, I mean, this, this card is saying be the bigger person. You know, this card is saying, okay, there's an argument or there's a problem here. There's someone who's perhaps trying to look down on you or some, something's not right. If you are in this situation where someone's trying to outdo you or this kind of thing, be the bigger person, let it go, you know, surrender and, and focus on creating, doing your work, building your empire, making your way towards your dream. It takes time to get there. You know, this is not an overnight job, you creating and building all this wealth. There's something about this that's going to take time. And that's okay. Let's see what Louise Hay has to say. She's always got great wisdom. All right, let's see. I can't remember what I've put in here, by the way. <laughs> It always happens. I, I do these on the weekend typically. I've had a good weekend anyway. Uh, all right, let's have a look. The old saying, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again, is so true. It doesn't mean beat yourself up and try the same old way again. It means recognize your error and try another way until you learn to do it correctly. And one of the things that I'm seeing here with this situation is try and try again. This this try and try again is the doing energy. It is the energy of, you know, put effort into building your empire, your dreams. Put your energy and your effort there. But the other thing that this is very much saying is that if you keep attracting these kind of situations into your life, uh, don't keep dealing with it the same old way. Maybe you have to do something different. 
And maybe if your way is that, well, I just go quiet and I run away or something, or maybe it's, maybe it's saying to try something else. Hmm. Let's keep going here with the advice. Because for you to get involved or fight back is not great either. That's going to be sticky. <laughs> and you don't want that. But perhaps do something different in, in your inner being. Transmute the energy. See if you can, you know, maybe, maybe this episode will be perfect for your art. This is a lot like, I think it was group three in last week. Last week's reading. If you look at last week's reading group three, this is very similar. Because I'm pretty sure that was all about being stylish and creative, creating art out of these unpleasant situations. And that could be an interesting thing to do. Let's see what we've got in here. If we do not accept the idea that we deserve to prosper, that even when abundance falls in our laps, we will refuse it somehow. Louise, hey, yes, that is amazing. And that's amazing that that's come up here while we've got an Ace of Pentacles card. We've got the Four of Wands, which is you achieving your material dreams. And then we've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is the independent enjoyment of wealth. So you are definitely creating abundance, you're on your way to abundance, but what this is asking you to do is to make sure that your consciousness is able to, to really embody and welcome that abundance in so that you keep it and you grow it. They have, they've done studies on people who win the lottery and uh, if people who win the lottery, if let's say for example they were broke and in debt and had really bad thoughts and feelings about money, then the lottery winnings would typically just, you know, like a, like a bucket with a hole in it, it would just drip through. It would just, yeah, it, it wouldn't last. Two years later, those people would be in the same position they were in before they got the money. The, the money didn't help. And it's not about the amount of money. It's about the consciousness that you carry. So this is also about good money habits. I watched this TV show called The Secret Millionaire and what happened in that show was, um, the, I can't remember her name, she had blonde curly hair, she was absolutely lovely. And they send these secret millionaires to a, a place that's a bit down and out and you know they made her work in a cafe for 10 pounds a day and anyway she by the end of the show and by the end of filming she had saved a lot of that 10 pounds per day that she was earning she ended up she used a sock as her bank account and she ended up with something like a thousand pounds so it, that was amazing it's like you put her anywhere and she'll build a business or she'll save money or she'll prosper she'll do well it's that kind of thing so know that you deserve abundance and wealth and have all the right habits in place that you know are going to help you to, to keep that money to invest it to grow it all that kind of thing why don't we take just one more interesting this has been this is kind of an interesting mix of things but i think that this situation i think it's just some kind of distraction and you know uh, don't engage this is the right way actually to be like the high priestess don't engage in this situation it'll be sticky it might drag you down as well let's take one more and then I will get on to the next group oh how beautiful I love this quote there is so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet Louise Hay yeah that's great exactly and that's this that's Pisces that's meditation that's you retreating to the being that you are and the being that you are is love we are connected to the one the all is one you know the all is one is god is love all these things are the same that's who you are 
and there's so much love in your heart that you could heal the entire planet. When you read this in the context of the book, she says exactly this line and then she says, but why don't we just for a moment use a little bit of that love to heal you? And that's right. That's exactly right. Fill your cup first and then it will be overflowing. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to this reading. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place. This is a new deck by the way I'm just checking that's upright yes. Uh, it's a new deck so that's very exciting. I thought I would introduce it here in group two. It's a very lovely deck. Let's see well, let's draw them all first <laughs> and then we will see where it is you're off to, what location uh, is here and we'll see what cards we've got here. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are and I know that there is a lot of chaos and upheaval in the world right now so I'm definitely praying for anyone who's in a difficult situation at the moment uh, and hopefully this offers a nice bit of distracting relaxing content you know just to chill out to I know I need some relaxing viewing every now and then and there are so many great pick a card readings I don't know I find this really relaxing it's like your own mini art gallery isn't it <laughs> it's like art gallery for one and it's custom made it's tailor made every time okay so let's see what's in here And we'll take one of these, these upright, these are upside down, I better get this correct, there we go, okay, there we go, and one of these. I consider this my sun deck, I've got one that is Saturn and one that is this one's the sun. So it's like the sun's speaking to me through this. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see where it is you are off to. Are you going somewhere? Could it be this place? Or does this place hold any memories for you? So we have got here Thailand 2009. No bow. And this is the place. Now that is the six of spades, which would be swords, which would be right, six of swords. So you are moving on from something. Okay, You're leaving something behind maybe. It's just a kind of, and this is gentle and it's nice and you're moving into calmer waters really. That's the way to see that card. Okay, oh wonderful. We just had the four of wands in the previous group. That's amazing. And look, this is the big house that I was talking about in group one. This is great. Wow. Four of Wands. It's a beautiful depiction. Look at that. Gosh. So nice. It's a great card to get. Oh, they were the right one. I don't know. Uh, cosmic Consciousness. Yes. Lord Krishna here with his many girlfriends. <laughs> well, having a lovely time. He is playing music there. Beautiful. Okay. Algarab Corvus. The night will come and she will hold your fear. It is in the darkness when the moon blazes. Wow. That is so beautiful because, and that came out with this. That's incredible. Because that, this is, you know, in, in the moonlight, the music in the moonlight, the, all the beauty, the, the relaxation. This is great. So the night will come and she will hold your fear. It is in the darkness when the moon blazes. It's so true. The moon is in its full glory and, and beauty in the nighttime. But this is a peaceful night. This is not a night with any fear in it. This is good. This is great. And did they have, they had some, I'm sure they had these kind of 
full moon parties or new year new moon parties in Thailand is that right hmm and this is moving away you're moving into calmer waters this is very good oh I'm liking this energy this is really lovely okay let's see what we've got here eight of cups yeah look at that again walking away moving away eight of cups is like you're turning your back on something you're moving forward you're you're going into the mountains look at that we've got a full moon so this could be you yeah there's something you're walking away from moving on from nice okay seven of cups choices yep as soon as you turn away from the situation or you know you're ready to move forward with your life you want to you want to keep going i think you're going to be presented with a whole bunch of new options choices yeah this can be a bit overwhelming but it's good it's really good and that's this is all emotional stuff here we've also got the moon which is emotions as well we've got the moon twice but there's no fear okay there's something about and maybe you're walking away from a situation that contained fear there's no fear in this in this place where you're going it's kind of like you turn around and you're about to to set off and there's something there's beauty here there's there's moonlight and dancing and kindness and lovely things oh how wonderful that is incredible yes i was feeling this it's like there's, there's good things but it's like you have to turn away and you have to uh and and this 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 could be a love situation this could be you walking away typically the, these two cards here this is this is this has come twice now and this is something for you here that this is you walking away from some kind of love situation or and I'm not saying a partner I'm not saying that you're walking away from the partner necessarily I'm not particularly seeing heartbreak or end of relationship or any of that I'm seeing that you're walking away from a situation or you're walking away from a dynamic or a pattern or an energy so let's not personalize this let's let's stay very abstract and very um, high level here there is something and there's no I'm not seeing any break as such uh, what, what I'm seeing is yeah you're moving away from a situation a mood an atmosphere a feeling uh, you know there's something but these two are so beautiful this is the dream life this is the dream home this is this is and a lot of people see this 11 11 there's always an 11 11 see that two trees there two trees here so that a lot of people consider this a twin flame type thing and here it is here is the the true love that you you seek and are capable of giving okay it's really gorgeous energy here it's gentle it's soft it's really nice it's full of cups full of emotion cups water moon subconscious night beauty music moonlit parties There's something about you going into your subconscious perhaps retreating from the world not engaging with the world so much not needing the world so much knowing that you're abundant in possibilities and opportunities and that love is all around wow great energy here let's see what louise hay has to say louise hay is the perfect guide at this time she's she's gentle and soft and lovely and all these wonderful things and she was enormously you know in a, in a very feminine way she was enormously she had such an enormous mars energy actually she was she was able to be ambitious and successful and achieve so much you know as a as a lady in a very in a male dominated society amazing amazing person I covered her in the masters series uh okay let's take a look here aha that's amazing don't insist that love come immediately 
Perhaps you are not ready for it or you are not developed enough to attract the love you want. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. And it's this thing. It's this thing of, you know, you want to mature into the top version of yourself so you can give that to someone but see that is denying who you are in the now like it, the other thing is don't um don't be hard on yourself where you're at where you're at is wonderful now you're ready to love now you know don't don't put it out into the future that it's really far away uh, but at the same time, this this is pretty good guidance right here. It's a bit of both, okay? And it's 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 not being rigid, or this reading is really calling for softness, and um, it's very abstract. This reading as well. It's not, you know, the, but there is a little bit of a line in the sand here. There is a little bit of, okay, you have to move into calmer waters. You have to turn. You're back on something yeah there is that and there is this don't insist that love come immediately and it's okay to not be ready for it you know it's okay to to want to develop yourself more because you don't want just anyone or just anything you know you want the right thing you want the thing that you know you can make a life with you know and that that doesn't come around every day so Take your time, see what's in here. Okay. Oh, wow, gosh. This is uh, pretty clear what's going on here, yeah. <clears throat> Someone might be, you must, yeah, somebody might be, uh, somebody in this group might be, be breaking up or moving on from a relationship or, or letting go of well the person that lives rent free in your mind <laughs> there's a, a good video about that by I think her name is Anna Arcana and she's got this thing about people living rent free in your mind or you know that kind of thing so it says here make room for the new clean out your fridge get rid of all those little bits of stuff wrapped up in foil <laughs> yes I can relate to that uh, although I put mine in like a small porcelain bowl anyway <laughs> Um, clean out your closets get rid of all the stuff you haven't used in the last year yeah I, I do think that's important every year I think it's important to do a stock take of your stuff and to she Louise Hay is brutal she's like if you haven't used it for a year get rid of it I tend to be a bit more you know two years well she, she even says six months as well um, in some instances but yeah I, I tend to think you know a year two years but if you haven't used it move it on get rid of it because what you want to do is you want to be able to make room for the new you want to be able to grow your heart you know the love in your life you, you want to grow yourself right um, you need space even just to do that to grow to expand to expand your energy field to expand your heart to expand your aura to expand you know and that, that this is important as well that that you you exist, you take up space, your opinion matters, who you are counts. You know, so often, and especially if we're an empath type, uh, we can reduce ourselves to nothing. <laughs> you know, we can, we can have no needs, you know, and uh, no, you know, I think you need to expand. I think you need to have some needs and I think you need to be in touch with those and, 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 and uh, you know, be you kind of thing. Let's take another one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take three per group. I'm not going to leave anything for Instagram. Might do that next time. Let's have a look and see what's in here. I'm curious. What has Louise Hay got to say? Oh, how incredible. This is great. This is all about relationships. This is so perfect. Relationships are mirrors of ourselves. What we attract always mirrors either qualities we have or beliefs we have about relationships. Yeah, that's so true. They are they are mirrors of ourselves, and and that's not to be hard on ourselves, um, especially if we don't like the reflection. Okay, a, a big component of this reading is to go be soft, be gentle with yourself, take time, go slow. 
you know, no hard edges here. This is Krishna, this is flute music, this is round tones and moonlight and nighttime and, you know, these beautiful peacocks or whatever they are. I mean, this is, this is you need a gentle time and, 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 and a beautiful time, you know. Um, have a moonlit party with yourself, play some beautiful music at night, be creative, do something. Um, yeah, so wow, what a reading group too. I've really enjoyed this one. Thank you so much to those of you who, who came and watched this and, and brought these cards through. They're really great. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look. Yes, that's upright, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a location. Where are you off to today? Or is this some kind of, maybe that place is going to spark a memory or you know about that place. See, I didn't know about group two's place. Well, I, I've never been there, but I know about some things that happen there. So you see that all kinds of interesting things happen. All right, so let's draw three of these. By the way, I wanted to say, if you are in a part of the world where things are difficult right now, uh, my heart goes out to you. You are in my prayers and keep it. Oh, we'll keep the other one as well. Mystery card. We'll keep it. Um, that's a very good card. <laughs> You're in my prayers and you, yeah, my heart goes out to you. And hopefully this offers just a nice distraction, just a little bit of chill out content. You can divert your mind, change gears a bit. And I mean, no matter what part of the world you're in, sometimes that is just something we need, isn't it? So yeah, I can really relate to, to that. Okay. Um, 10 of coins, 10 of pentacles. Great start. Now, what else do we want? We're going to have one of these. This is a deck I consider my sun deck. I've got one that is Saturn, one that is the sun. I haven't got one for each planet, but there is something I'm working on for the pick a card audience. You'll see, I'll share it when it's ready. I don't know. It's still arriving in the, it's, it's some, I've got something arriving in the post, some secret mystery thing. Okay, and then we want one of these. By the way, I'm not doing reversals, so if it's reversed, I'll just turn it the right way up. Okay, Let's see what location we have. Aha, uh -huh. okay, we have Croatia here, 2003. I don't know if that's going to be significant for anyone, and that's the place there. But in terms of this, we have the Jack, which is the page or the knight of clubs, which is wands. So the Jack of wands, we've got fire energy on the table. We have enthusiasm. We have, you know, the potential to start something new, to spark something. This can be, you know, it's, it's a fast moving energy, this one as well. So we've got some speed here, which is interesting. Aha, more wands. Okay, six of wands. Great, this is beautiful. This is success. This is, you know, riding back into town on your horse. You're successful, but she's on this beautiful bird. Oh, what's the name of this kind of bird? They get the nectar. Yeah, it's wonderful. But this is quite interesting. She's holding the, okay, let's see, let's see what comes and that that might offer some significance for you but let's keep going here okay bliss beautiful that's wonderful and this is a white kind of color which uh, can be the crown chakra okay do you know I, I don't think I'm even going to attempt to s pronounce this <laughs> Um, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> but we've got the that. And then it says here, reduction and devastation. Okay. Pay attention to your flaws because in them you will discover your affinity with others. Right. 
And we've got the symbol for Capricorn here. We've got Saturn and Mercury. Okay. Good. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Coins. Great. We've got something underneath. Oh, the Hermit. Yeah, of course the Hermit was hiding. Oh, who else would hide? Here we go. So the hidden card, the Hermit. And yeah, the Hermit will um, cloak up, will be hidden, you know, retreat, meditation. Okay. So we've got two signs here asking for meditation time out. See what else is going on. King of Cups. Beautiful. Very interesting depiction. Gosh. Very ferocious. That is not a traditional King of Cups at all. Wow. I like it. It's kind of fiery. It's like a fiery King. Oh, this, this could be a Gandanta King of Cups. How about that? That I think that's what we're going to call this really, isn't it? Because it's kind of fire coming out. Yeah, because water, king of cups, water, fire, gandanta. All right. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, the queen of cups. Wow. Beautiful. So we've got divine counterparts here on the table. This could be to do with a relationship. But I'm going to read this to be about yourself. I'm not getting so much of a relationship vibe here. I think you, you have been busy working towards your goals and I'm getting a sense of, well done, you're on the right track, keep going. You know, you don't need to put in extra effort or you're not, you're not overworking or underworking. You're, it feels like you're on track to creating things that you want materially. But perhaps spiritually, there is a little bit of cleaning up to do. And I sense that this is to do with, and it, this might be being reflected back to you from the outside world, but mm, I'm not getting that. It's like, I'm kind of getting a sense that you're, um, you're above the chaos of that's happening in the outside world. I think you're kind of above it. I think you're able to see. I think you have perspective. I think you know how to uh, get into this hermit mode and you know how to stay above any chaos that's going on. I kind of see you doing that successfully. And if there is a little bit of cleanup, I think it is internal and I think it is around, yeah, paying attention to your flaws because in them you will discover your affinity with others. That yes, there will be things in the outside world that maybe annoy you or that aren't, but you're doing, you're on the spiritual path and you are very interested in, yeah, kind of integrating. Um, pay attention to your flaws. You're able to look. You're doing the work where you're able to look at the outside world and say, that's actually me. I think you are successfully doing this work. And I would say go easy on yourself. I think this is a go easy on yourself message because uh, Saturn is here and Mercury is here. I think maybe you work too hard mentally to try and figure everything out, possibly. And I think, yeah, so, some new things are going to emerge in your world. And I think it's like uh, a match is going to be lit and there's going to be some fast moving energy. I think you're going to be quite busy, possibly. It's going to be work related. But I'm getting kind of confirmations here. I'm getting success. I'm getting like, you're succeeding. You're doing great. You are rising above mm, and, and gaining perspective. And it's kind of, this I see, this is interesting because this is Virgo. And I do see this as a very Virgo kind of a thing here too. Because six in astrology is Virgo. 
and I, f I feel like this is saying to me that you are succeeding that when, when you need to flip into hermit mode boom you can do it you can call it when you want it it's great look at that you you kind of are skilled at being able to rise above at being able to recognize the masculine and the feminine dynamic within you at being able to recognize the problem out there is actually within me uh, i actually think you're doing quite well with all this stuff this is great bliss it's kind of like bliss on command it's like when you when you need it it's there and that, that's funny because i've been working on master's episode of bruce lee and that was one of the things he talked about he said that you know when you want it it's there i'm definitely feeling this kind of quality here you've got the sixth and you've got the virgo you've got the sixth house bruce lee had a lot of energy there that is interesting wow let's take a look and see what's in here we've got three left we'll take them all yeah a lot of confirmation a lot of um and i think things will ramp up perhaps in the next you know maybe month or two or however long but i think you're going to be busy yeah let's see what we've got in here we've just got three left now all right oh how incredible this is so perfect quiet the chatter of your mind for a moment and really think about this concept your mind is a tool you can choose to use any way you wish yes i think you do do this i think you've got that um, ability to observe like instantly flick into observer mode okay we're observing like i'm not i'm not attached to this yeah that crazy stuff's going on around me but that's not me and it's that thing that when i do my meditation i write down my fears i write i have fear and then blah 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 right whatever it is but just putting the word have you know it's like i am not fearful no i i is love i is you know the all is one i is the self with a capital s right i have fear you put the word have in you distance yourself from the fear you're not fear you know i think you know this stuff i think there's a lot of confirmation coming from this reading that you're doing really really great with all this uh, let's see what's here it's a short one you can see from the paper short ones are often very good let's see ah uh, oh, yeah the more you dwell on what you don't want the more of it you create absolutely so this is that thing of like balancing because see life is always creating life is always on lester levinson says um, the mind only creates so all the time you're creating you know it's it's that thing of finding stillness like that that balance uh and then you know then you're just creating peace and isn't that when that isn't that nice to have a, a wave of peace come and hit you you know rather than rather than manifesting something else but yeah life is life is always on and sometimes we're not conscious of that and that's why you know and that's why all of us we all fall asleep now and then and, we, and then we create some unconscious thing because you know we weren't conscious it's so true yeah let's have a look here okay uh i am willing to change yeah i choose to have fun doing this i choose to react as though i have found a treasure when i discover something else to release this is perfect all three of these have been perfect all the quotes have been perfect today i'm just amazed yes this is exactly the work that you are doing so and i think you know how to have fun doing this and we, we kind of talked about that last week with you guys i remember last week group three it was that leo thing it was like you know ah ha ha you've annoyed me i'm going to write you into my next work of fiction type thing you know like it's fun like it's like i can i can have fun with this you know um i choose to react as though i've found a treasure when i discover something else to release absolutely and this is byron katie as well byron katie has this whole thing in her uh in her work which is called the work which i love and i actually uh, did some work with byron katie in when she was in london and yeah she she has this whole thing about i welcome the next time this is going to happen 
I welcome the next time this horrible thing is going to happen to me. Because you trust yourself. That's self-trust. You know that you're going to handle it well. Because you know that you've done it before and you know that you're going to, you might do it a bit differently next time, how you handle it, whatever it is, right? Um, you, you know, and you can get to the point where you're turning every moment of life into art or into something beautiful. Yeah, this is great. Great energy here, group number three. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I love hearing from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.